There were two incidents in the Morocco versus France game, so let's take a look at them both in more detail. First, a potential penalty for Morocco when Hernandez crashed into Buffal. If you watch this in real time, at the speed the referee had to make a decision, it looks like a late challenge from Buffal, and so the referee's decision seemed to be correct. However, in slow motion, which is what VAR would have looked at, it's less clear. Hernandez is essentially in possession when he gets to the ball first, as you can see here, and that's likely the main reason VAR didn't intervene to overturn what would have needed to be a clear and obvious error. Had Hernandez not got a touch on the ball first, it would have been a clear penalty, but we also have to take into account Buffal's motion. If he was stood still, there would be an argument that Hernandez was careless and a penalty would be a possibility, but because Buffal is moving towards Hernandez at speed, it's more of a collision than a foul. In the melee after the challenge, Hakimi leaning into the referee with his head was not a smart move, but nothing came of this. Buffal shouldn't have been given a yellow card, but VAR cannot intervene to change this decision, unless it's a red card. The other incident in this game saw Francis Chouameni holding Amala inside the penalty area. He clearly holds him, as you can see in this image, and while it would have been considered a soft penalty, we've seen them given at this World Cup already, with Iran versus England, and also Argentina versus Saudi Arabia. So you've got to say that in this incident, the referee and VAR were not consistent with the way these fouls have been interpreted so far. With that in mind, Morocco had a right to be angry with the referee's performance in this game. As always, let us know your thoughts and questions in the comments below.